let's talk about coagulation and flocculation. Why do we do coagulation flocculation? The main goal of the coagulation flocculation process is to reduce the turbidity in the water. Turbidity is a measure of the amount of suspended solids in a sample, which causes cloudiness. Removing turbidity can remove unwanted taste and odor compounds. Lower turbidity allows for higher rates of disinfection. <laughs> what is a coagulant? A coagulant is a chemical that is added to water that causes small particles to come together to form larger particles that can settle due to gravity. In the United States, the predominant co coagulant used is aluminum sulfate, or alum. Here's how the process of coagulation and flocculation works. First, the coagulant is added. Remember, this is usually alum. After the coagulant is mixed with the turbid water, the suspended particles come together to form larger particles called flocks. These flocks then settle down to the bottom, which leaves the water clear. Here is an example of a typical drinking water treatment train. The water is taken from a surface water source. A coagulant is added. Flocculation and sedimentation can then take place. After that, the water undergoes filtration and disinfection before traveling to the water distribution system. The end result? Clear water. This is called the Bar Theory of Coagulation. The engineers in this room are like the particles before a coagulant is added. They are not yet interacting with one another. Next, we introduce a coagulant, beer. Now, the particles, or engineers in this case, happily flock together and settle at Jackie Day.